It is often necessary to light candles during practices and mysteries. Please tell us about this ancient magical tool. What is the true meaning of it and how to use it properly? What meaning do candles carry for us? Here, to understand the symbolism a candle carries, we must turn in general to the symbolism of the elements themselves. There are different levels of force. And there is a level of primordial force, consisting of the four elements – fire, earth, air and water. A person has access to them in their purest natural form. But as a rule, a person has no access to the occult forces expressed by these elements. In order to gain access to the occult energy, to the occult force of these primary elements, a person must be able to raise his own consciousness and pass beyond these range delineated levels. However, it is not always possible. Firstly, an ordinary person lives within the innermost circle, between the proto-foundations life, death, love and hate. That is a common human life of the ordinary living being who gets born and dies, loves and hates. Above this level, within the second circle, there are the so-called egregorial systems, and this circle is related to the proto-foundations tradition, freedom, good and evil. The egregorial systems use these terms and create a certain frame around the world of the living, such as certain moral and ethical norms that regulate people's lives within this inner circle. And above, there is the outermost circle of force, which is related to the proto-foundations, order, chaos, light and dark. This is the level of the gods and the level of primordial minds. In order to connect with his god, to connect with his force, a person must pass through the egregorial level like a knife through butter without getting stuck to it. And egregors must not offer resistance, which is an incredible story for over 99% of people, since that turns out to be impossible. Someone who engages in practical crafts, including witchcraft, mystery and magical practices, is very aware of this. Because you can bang your head against this wall as much as you want, but you will not walk through it without a sufficient amount of energy. But there are certain techniques, ritual techniques, that allow you to connect to the outer circle bypassing the conditions of the second circle through the principle of identity during the ritual by finding a loophole in this egregorial space. And this loophole is created by a person's channel, a communication channel with a force for which he conducts this ritual connection. A candle, or fire, in this case, symbolizes this channel. A protected communication channel between a person whose physical body is within the inner circle and the divine mind, which is in the outer circle. And usually, we use a natural candle, a candle made especially for these purposes, with herbs, symbols, signs, that is, there are certain rules for making candles, and these rules exist because they help to communicate with certain force. It is like a dedicated channel of communication. In this sense, for example, Christians use their own made, consecrated candles, not just because they are so greedy, but also because these candles enable them to access their egregorial system, that is, the second level, the second circle of proto-foundations, where their egregorial world is, which does not allow them going beyond its borders or connecting with any other force. That is why it is customary in magical witchcraft practices to make the candles yourself or to order them from a proven master. But in any case, do not buy them in a church gift shop because the effect will be precisely the opposite. I hope you understand why. Therefore, when we light a candle during a class, a mystery or a ritual, we thus say, here is the natural fire. It exists in our inner circle of existence, 
It's our natural force. We own it. And then there is the occult fire that is identically connected precisely with this natural fire. It is just different currents. But the essence is the same. In our dense physical world, this occult fire found its reflection in the physical fire. Thus we build this identical connection, as if thereby going around the egregorial world or finding a certain loophole there, similarly to having a representative office there. There is a formed egregor of a certain occult system through which we connect with our force, with our god, with our gods, those whom with we establish a contact during the ritual or a mystery. Во время ритуала или мистерии.